all right now now first and foremost they now they're gonna come in here and bitch me out because this is what Jen does I know I'm drained and I'm tired but Jen's heart and her empath um, will not allow her to stop so I took a little break I did some editing made sure that everything was okay with that video it took three hours that's fine and I realized that um, I am NOT going to leave anybody out of this message a promise is a promise and my integrity is everything to me when I make a promise I mean it okay please understand that I will not rest until everyone is taken care of okay that's a humanitarian heart yes I'm not God and I don't pretend to be but I will tell you this my heart and desire to make sure that everyone is fulfilled is very very real I don't want to receive backlash and bullshit from this what I want you to understand is where my heart is okay and understanding that even after the last couple of hours I won't sleep tonight until I take care of everybody so this is what I'm gonna do please forgive this is an active house if you see people coming in and out it is what it is I don't pr pretend to be something that I'm not okay so where we left off we got 19 done and I believe I have three more to go no voice it, it's fine it's fine I don't need to I know sign language right. and that's fine so what I'm going to do is go ahead and pull um, cards on three people um, looks like babies are coming down so if y'all can deal with little babies that's fine so I'm gonna get these done so um, I need to do Jay Renee's on vacation she's in location right now but I know she's watching so I want to do Renee's and then please God forgive me if I'm butchering your name because I don't intend to I have good intentions uh, Martina Ma Mar I'm so sorry Martini Martinia uh, honey I'm so sorry you tell me if you could just give me the Annunciation that'd be great I'm so sorry but you're here and you love past lives and I want to do yours as well so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna pull all three of you now if there's anybody out there that didn't get theirs and like wow she's a bitch she didn't do mine well I'm sorry that wasn't my intention yes the channel's growing our family's growing and I think that's beautiful I don't keep check I don't keep count because I don't care but what I do know is I feel the energy from the collective and that's what I want to do so I'm gonna do three real quick mr. J I've missed you so much from all my heart and I love you so I've pulled enough energy and meditated long enough and I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do this cuz I love you so much all right so mr. J this is what spirit wants to tell you about one of your past lives boy you got cards flipping out of here okay well, let's see how y'all you're gonna get a little spunky mr. J in Home Depot right now is singing you know I love you darling all right so this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna pull your oracles past lives that's what we're working on all right Wednesday one o'clock Eastern Standard Time we're gonna look into future paths that'll be fun that'll be fun all right mr. J Rocco our lovey we just love him his energy is absolutely beautiful and if you guys don't know him you better take the time to get to know him because he's a gorgeous human being all of you are okay all of you are all right now Jay you ready hold your oracles interesting interesting I believe you are around the time of Jesus you ready 
I'll tell you in a minute how I got that. All right. Whether it resonates or not, that's okay. Everybody's different. Let's see what Tara has to say. Mr. J. Rocco is going to have his own story to tell. I'm pretty sure there's no Home Depot, so you may have just been singing in the streets. But you know what? Home Depot's carpentry. Maybe you were singing with Jesus. You never know, darling. You never know. You guys know how I try to make a joke. And uh, live chat is back up and running. It didn't take long. They let me um, have it back. And that's beautiful. Um, and I go back and look at it going, wow, I missed a lot. Wow, I missed a lot. Whether I saw it, whether I resonated with it, because I'm so focused in tunnel vision. You guys are the best. Loving on each other, your spirit, your sense of humor. Everything that you do is just absolutely beautiful. All right, Mr. J. Rocco, you ready? You know I love you. First time a live chat, we want Mr. J. to come back. But he may look at you and know, y'all just batshit crazy. I ain't come back into this hot mess. That's all right. We love you anyway. All right, Jay, you ready? All right, Norland. So this is a good um, empath spirit. Okay, I haven't looked and read the whole thing yet, but a mother spirit, aren't you precious? Because you are, you are. You have the divine feminine energy of being an empath and caring about people. That's gorgeous, gorgeous. But we are looking at biblical. Here's how I came up with a little bit of Jesus stuff, okay? So biblical times, okay, so ancient times, all right? And your third oracle was Greco-Roman. So right at the transition, right around the time of Jesus. You see where I'm going with this? All right. So here is what Tarot is saying to back that story up, Jay. All right? Interesting. You know how I always look into this and I'm like, wait, what? Higher spirit? So I'm pulling in your higher spirit? You knew the church was wrong? Gave you anxiety? Lots of secrets? Patient sibling? I believe you may have been James, the brother of Jesus. Don't, you can laugh. You can say, oh, now she's batshit crazy. Now she just done lost her ever love of mind. Okay, fine. I'm just telling you what higher self tells me, what spirit tells me, what creator tells me. Okay? All right. So you knew that everything can be stolen from you. That's the thief card. At any moment, anything can be stolen from you. This is a fear. You're not the thief. It's the fear of it being stolen from you, okay? Because you were worried about the church stealing it from you, stealing your truth, okay? It's the higher font. That's deep state. If you want to do Bible Bible stories, okay, that's Pontius Pilate. That's that Roman uh, Greco time period, okay? Remember? The fear of death, making a new change, slow to change, like what do I do? Following Jesus, actually. King of Swords, I just want justice and truth. Somebody just absolutely tell me the truth. I just want the truth. That's You were very dead set on that, okay? Caused a lot of anxiety. Oh my gosh, what's gonna happen? I'm not quite sure. It's anxiety, it's losing sleep. Oh my goodness, what's going to happen? High Priestess, trust in your gut, trust in your intuition. You also knew the secrets of the church as well. But High Priestess, you don't mess with her. She's very intuitive, she's very spiritual, okay? Knowing, I know the devil when I see it. And this, 
this is not good, okay? I know you're thinking, what's that got to do with James? Very patient, finding the balance, having um, the intuitive ability to know with the high priestess, okay, this is good, this is not good, okay? Just understanding it, but balancing your spirituality out. Like, I'm, I'm going to hang in there, okay? The reason that I feel that you are a brother to Jesus and James is because I have the sibling card and wanting to help humanity. You were going to follow him no matter what. But you were very careful of how you did this. The Knight of Pentacles, meaning you have a higher authority, like a discipleship. But I'm going to be very careful when I'm going to manifest. I'm going to give to the people. Manifesting pentacles, um, money to the people, giving back to the people. But man, am I going to guard him with my life and I'm going to make sure this gets done. I'm going to pull confirmation because I just want to make sure that I'm correct. Because I get the brother of Jesus. It doesn't tell me anything different. It absolutely tells me for the collective and the good and celebration of humanity, the collective agrees, yes, a go-getter, following his hearts and desires, and I'm going to go do this. I will follow you. I'm going to do this. Whether you believe in Jesus or not, this is not why we're here. This is what Spirit tells me. I'm not here to pick apart religions. That's not what we're here to do. We're just here to look at what Spirit tells us of what our past life was possibly doing. Tarot can always be wrong. Jen can always be wrong. Okay. Please understand this is what Spirit tells me, your higher self tells me, and how I interpret it. Okay. Hanging on for dear life because I know that this is the manifestation that we need. Pentacles is not about money in this. I'm going to hold on to manifesting that this is a good thing. Jay, precious. Of course you did. Of course you did. No one blames you for that. Yeah. One foot in and one foot out. Like, you always had doubts. You're still a man. You're still human. You're still on, on Gaia understanding going, am I doing the right thing? Yeah. Here we're even amongst the fighting, even amongst the fighting, passions and desires still held you true and firm, and you made sure that everything was in alignment, and it came forward very quickly. I still get James, brother of Jesus. Whether that resonates or not, but I'm telling you, you have a very, very high spiritual aspect in this. Because it was the Greco-Roman, okay? biblical times and a mother figure okay well we also have to understand that if Mary is the mother of Jesus and he looks at and she looks at James and says we'll protect your brother because she knew Jesus's purpose even if he was a younger brother it doesn't matter she would look at him and say protect your brother that's a motherly intuitive ability to protect you are going to stick by his side it does not have to resonate. I'm not here to convince you. I'm just telling you what Spirit says. So, Jay, if that resonates, I do get that you walked with Jesus and you actually were related to him. I know. People's going to come in here and go, oh, this woman's batshit crazy. She done lost her mind. Well, honey, I ain't worried about it. It don't matter. It don't matter. I'm here just to love on you. And Jay's a beautiful soul, and I love my brother of who he is in this life, not that life. Okay? So, Jay, that's what I got, sweetheart. All right. Now, I told you, I don't want to butcher your name. I'm, I'm going to nickname you. That's what I'm going to do. So, I get Mart, and then I have a Y. And then I have an N.A., so I'm putting this together. And I'm Southern, and I'm a redneck, so this is what I get. If I call you Marty, that's what I'm going to call you. Um, I can call you Mart. I can call you, well, I can't call you Mar because i got another Mar. You tell me, I don't want to offend you, darling, but you like past lives? 
I'm going to give you yours, okay? However I pronounce your name, please know that it's with good intention, okay? All right. So, if you're my new Marty, everyone welcome Marty. I apologize. I, I am sorry if I'm butchering your name because your name is very important, okay? You're honored by that, and I don't want to dishonor you by saying your name wrong. Please forgive me. I'm a southern redneck, and I just don't always read stuff right. It may take me a little while. I might get it right. All right? But the intention is good, precious. Okay? You understand? All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull your oracles. Let's see what you's up to. What you's up to. All right. Wow, that card. came up again. Alright. I think you sent one of your babies off. Alright. Use the mama in this. But let me let me pull tarot because I want to confirm, okay? Alright. Please forgive me. I'm gonna forgive myself because we don't stick in that negative energy, right? Alright. Because you're family. And welcome, welcome to all of you coming on in and, and subscribing. I don't worry about that crap. I'm just glad that you're here. I don't worry about that little check, what is it, thumb, whatever. I don't care. Subscribers and all that stuff. I used to when I first started out, but I got myself cleaned up and I realized, do you really care? It's about the people that are in here and that's your family. And that's how you connect to each other. So right now, as tired as I am, my energy is drained, it's okay. But my integrity, you can call it ego if you want to. I mean, you want to call me out and my ego, well, Jen, you didn't let your ego step aside. You could have done this at a later time. I know, I'm going to hear all the lectures. That's okay. That's okay. I just felt that I needed to. Okay? All right, so Marty, and if that offends you, I'm sorry. All right, so you got a card that doesn't want to stay in. All right, precious, here's yours. You ready? Great leader, great leader, good for the people, beautiful. Okay, all right, so here we go. So you also have the mother card. That means a nurturing spiritual um, feeling that you have, a protector, a nurturer, wanting to protect people, whether you're a physical mother or not, okay? That's just your spirituality in this. The next one is also ships, meaning travel. It could mean trade. It could mean just going place to place, okay? I don't think that you like doing this because this is trust and faith. It's like, um, okay, if I'm going to have to go do this to get my message across, I'm going to have to have trust and faith in my higher source and know that I'm going to have to get around the world to do it. Okay? All right. All right. So when you started out, this is fine. This is your thought process of when you started to travel around the world. You took your message and you went somewhere else. This is the Ten of Pentacles, a gift. So not only were you giving physical, tangible money, but you had a gift to give to the people. Okay? All right. Nine of Pentacles. This is also money. She's very abundant, but she knows who she is. She's very sovereign. She's independent. Like, I don't need nobody. Okay? I got my thing going on. This girlfriend is rocking it. Okay? I know. You're all like... Wow, Jen's getting very dramatic. Wow. Well, I was the drama queen. All right. 
So this is well aspected. Don't panic. It's the tower card. It just means I need a change in my life. You knew where you were at. You were like, no, I'm going to go out there and I'm going to get it done. It, it, because I have the passion of a mother. I'm going to use the ships to do it. And I'm going to trust in my faith with the oracle cards that I'm going to get it done. And I'm going to make a change. And I'm going to change everybody. Good for you. Okay, so the next one is the world card. I'm going to change the world. I've got a firm foundation of where I believe and the trust and faith that I have, and I'm going to do it. Queen of Swords. If I've got to do it, now remember, Queen Queenie here with swords, the way she's aspected is, if i got to fight to do it with a sword, I'll do it. But I'd much rather bring peace in. I'd much rather do this peacefully then fight with you okay all right she got her wish very good and very professional about what she did the magician card meaning taking her talent and ascending with it of what I can give to the rest of the world okay she takes all of the elements that are in the cards okay they're everything their cups their wands their pentacles you you take everything and swords as well you take everything and say, I'm going to ascend and I'm going to bring my talent to everyone else. She's a professional. She knows what she's doing. Beautiful. And you did. That's the sun card. Bringing forth your light to humanity. You did a beautiful, beautiful thing. How did you do it? King of Swords. Now remember, we already had the queen. I want justice. I want justice to be served for the people. I want to make sure that everything's aligned and I'm going to get what I want, okay? For the community, for the collective, a celebration, three of cups, emotionally celebrating, like this is the greatest thing ever. So what you did, you went around the world and you brought people together, okay? Knight of Wands, with the passion and desire that you had to do it, you were a go-getter. You brought people together. You are a humanitarian. Okay? So, because that I have the trust and faith, you could have been um, a spokesperson for your faith. Alright? And you said, I'm going to set sail and I'm going to get out there and let people know that it's fine. Because you had a love and heart for the people. I think that's beautiful. Spirit keeps telling me it's a, it's a Mary Magdalene um, yeah, and yeah, Magdalene was a mother, whether you want to believe it or not. It's a Magdalene heart and spirit in the discipleship. If you don't agree with that, that's okay. Turn it off. It's fine. But I get that you were very passionate about helping the people, and nothing was going to stop you. And you did it. And you were a success. And that's beautiful. Remember, these readings are short. And they're sweet, and it's just a roundabout way of looking into your past life at the time of what Spirit wants you to know. You were a go-getter, and you got stuff done. With that divine feminine energy, you got it done, girlfriend. Okay. All right. We got one more. We're going to do one more. Miss Renee. Miss Renee is traveling, and she's on vacation. And I know in my heart, her higher self says, you know Renee wants one. And I'm like, okay, I'll do Renee's. So this is what I'm going to do. And if I forgot anybody, y'all yell at me. Y'all just tell me. Okay? You just got to tell me. Miss Nadia works and uh, she writes everybody down the best she can at the time. But also Nadia is a mod and she takes care of her chat room. And thank you, all mods. Thank you for doing everything that you do. You know, sometimes we need mods and sometimes we don't. But please understand that this is the reason that we're doing it. Okay? Um, she protects the family and community from um, the bots that come in. Alright? So, last reading. You ready? Miss Renee, this is you, precious. Wow, we got a card that hasn't come up yet. 
beautiful. All right. My family is walking through here going, wow, are you still going? Yeah. Right. That's just what Jen does. That's all right. Miss Renee, let Tara tell your story. Expected. Yeah, you were definitely a go-getter. Knew who you were in the Divine Feminine. That's beautiful as well. This is not bad, um, negatively aspected. Okay, Seven of Cups. People, you normally see this and go, oh gosh, illusion. No one likes this card. Nope, it's well aspected. Your Sovereignty Nine of Pentacles tells you that I know who I am. I know my abundance. This tells me that I have lots of choices to make. So you knew who you were. I know. I, Because I'm tired, I totally skipped over your oracles. I'll get them. I promise. You just have to have some patience and balance yourself out to get it done. Okay? Knight of Cups. Tiptoeing around your emotions and making sure you do this right. Okay? Ace of Cups. Following your heart, well, following your emotions and, and letting it overflow because you have a gift to give. Cups being gifts, okay? But still keeping guard over yourself, meaning two of wands is like my, my passion and my heart and desire is there, but I want to be careful. Have hope, but don't have hope. One foot in, one foot out, okay? But it was something you needed to wrap up. It was a whole heavy burden, okay, on you. These are the things I want to do, but it's tiring you out. I need to wrap this up, bring it to an end, because it's draining my heart and emotion, okay? Wands, all right. I've put all the work in. Now I step back and see if I made an impact. You planted the seed, now you wait for the harvest, right? Okay, just waiting for the message of emotion. Don't get distracted. Like, don't look over here. Just wait to see what happens. We're not daydreaming. Just focus on what needs to come in. All right. Yeah. But feeling tricked at the end. Like, did, was I hoodwinked? Like, you put all this work in. Like, wait a minute. That's why I'm going to pull confirmation. Okay. So the truth came out. It was a beautiful thing, and you changed the world. That's gorgeous. That's gorgeous. Ace of Swords, you brought truth to the world, and you absolutely did it completely. So after the, what the harvest brought in was that you spread truth. Beautiful. Changed the whole world. Firm foundation. I know what I stand for, and I knew it because I trusted myself. The Lover's Card. Being passionate and having a desire and it's heartfelt moving forward, making a contract, coming together and doing something that you really, really, truly cherish. Now, this is how you'll understand, Miss Renee. So, unrequited love. Okay, that means, you know, even if you get burned, I've got an absolute passion and desire. I'm going to have trust and faith that I, whether I've been burned or not, I have a, a complete desire to make sure that things get pushed forward, regardless if there's a possibility of my imprisonment or slavery, because at the time that you lived, apparently um, you were the enemy. You didn't have free speech to go out and just preach your, um, whatever you were preaching. If it was faith, it said trust and, you know, understanding your your faith please understand you were either spreading um, a spirituality or you were just spreading truth about other nations and because you were on the move okay so this is your reading miss renee saying that you were passionate and desire nothing stopped you it took you a little while you had to be a little bit patient to see if it made a difference but it did okay i don't know if that didn't make any sense Past lives aren't supposed to make sense. Because we're not there anymore. We're here. We're present. We're now. Okay? 
All right. So those were the three that I could think of. And if there are more, I just ask your forgiveness and your mercy and grace, and I will get to you on Wednesday. Okay? So, I'm going to let you go. That was just a brief little thing that I wanted to do. It took 30 minutes to do three readings. It usually takes about 10 minutes to do each reading. That's fine. All right? So, that was Jay, my Marty, and my Renee. Okay? So, hopefully you heard it. And, um, and you went with it. Just accept it. Release it. Let it go. Have forgiveness for yourself, for everybody else. Don't feel rejected. This is for entertainment. And you're okay. You live for who you are now. And you keep your vibrations high. And you love on each other. Even when our energy is tired. I know. Everybody, I'm, I, yeah, I don't want to hear you bitching at me. Just go, you know, Jen, you know you was tired. You had no business me doing that. Well, Jen does what she does. That's who Jen is. Okay? You can lecture me all you want to. That's my ego, and that's what steps in. That's my battle. That's not your job. Okay? I handle Jen the way I handle Jen. But I will never leave anybody out in the cold. You will never be a hermit in my life, and you will never be a five of pentacles. You will never be left out in the cold and by yourself. Because I'm here. Okay? I love you. You let me know. No lectures. Only blessings and light. I love you. I'll see you Wednesday. Love you, darlings. Love and light. Some all that. You get that too. Bye-bye.